அது என் பேர் Okay, we have sp- broken god's con- covenant with each one of us we have asked we have uh, we have acted selfishly and neglected the well being of god's people it is our opportunity to report on many ways okay okay we have sp- opening prayer we need to take responsibility and work for the common good draw from the principle of catholic social teaching each station will help us reflect and realize how we can heal our relationship with the entire family of god's people lord teach us your ways and grant us in interior conversions and renewal so that we will live sustainably and in solidarity with your people especially the marginalized and vulnerable give us the courage and perseverance to go build a better world as we walk with you the first station jesus is condemned to death we adore you o christ and we bless you and we bless you because by your holy cross by your holy cross very early in the morning the chief priests with the elders the teachers of the law and the whole sanhedrin made their plans so they bound jesus let him away and handed him over to pilate are you the king of the jews asked pilate you have said so jesus replied from catholic social teaching we are called to be on care for we are called to be good stewards of everything that has been entrusted to us to so our through our protection of the environment in which we live we respect the goodness of nature a gift god has given we protect the environment when we promote sustainability in the consumption of resources in our communities the gift of the spirit to each one is to be used for the common good and reach us with your spirit o lord that we may enhance life for all your creation the hymn will take god is love made us and he was love that saved us love was the plan when he made man God's divine nature is love born of God the love of God That's why he made us to love him. But only when we love all men can we but take 
The second station, Jesus carries his cross. We adore you, O Lord, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Pilate brought Jesus out and sat on the judge's seat. Here is your king. Pilate said to the Jews, but they shouted, Take him away, take him away, crucify him. Shall I crucify your king? Pilate asked. We have no king but Caesar. The chief priests answered. Finally, Pilate handed him over to them to be crucified. We reflect on rights and responsibilities. We must take responsibilities to protect the rights of all Malaysians. These rights include the rights to live, food, water, shelter, education, employment, along with political and cultural rights. When we work to ensure that the rights of the marginalized and vulnerable Communities are protected. We act as responsible Christians. The gift of the Holy Spirit to each one is to be used for the common good. Enrich us with your spirit, O Lord, that we may enhance life to your creation. Hill far away, away. Oh, and all the cross, then emblems of suffering and shame. And I love that old cross, where the dearest and for the world this was free. So I cherish your good cross. Till my trophies at last I lay down. I will cling to the Third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Surely, he took up our pain and bore our sufferings. Yet, we considered him punished by God, stricken by him and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him. And by his wounds, we are healed. We reflect on dignity of work and rights of workers. The ability to work to earn a living is a right of all people. All workers have the right to a fair wage, to organize themselves and to work in good conditions when we are enabled under privileged 
communities to earn an income to support their families and set aside some savings, uphold the dignity of work and the rights of workers. The gift of the Spirit to each one is to be used for the common good. Enrich us with your Spirit, O Lord, that we may enhance life for all your creation. God gives his people strength. If we believe in his way, he's swift to repay all those who share. The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because of your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, This child is destined to cause the falling and rising of many in Israel and to be a sign that will be spoken against, so that the thoughts of many hearts will be revealed, and a sword will pierce your own soul too. We reflect on the option for the poor. As a community of faith, we have the obligation to reach out to those most in need. The gospel specifically calls us to take actions on behalf of the poor in our community. When we cooperate with local health care workers to ensure that the disadvantaged, especially mothers and their children, receive adequate nutrition, and medical care, we give priority for the poor. The gift of the Spirit to each one is to be used for the common good. Enrich us with your Spirit, O Lord, that we may enhance life for all your creation. The fifth station, Simon of Serene helps Jesus carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. A certain man from Cyrene, Simon, the father of Alexander and Rufus, was passing by on his way in from the country, and they forced him to carry the cross. We reflect on solidarity. We are one human family, regardless of our differences. Answering the call to love our neighbors will promote a culture of respect and lead to peace in our com communities. When we help carry the cross for our brothers and sisters in need by helping them with housing, water, health service, and responding to emergencies, 
we are answering the calls of solidarity with the community. The gift of the spirit to each one is to be used for the common good. Enrich us with your spirit, O Lord, that we may enhance life for all your creation. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Truly, I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. We reflect on solidarity. Though we are different, we share one thing in common. We all belong to the human family. When we reach out with love and compassion to the hungry and malnourished we demonstrate our solidarity with the human family. The gift of the spirit to each one is to be used for the common good. Enrich us with your spirit, O Lord, that we may enhance life for all your creation. Do you know The seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. I am bowed down and brought very low. All day long, I go about mourning. My back is filled with searing pain. There is no help in my body. I am feeble and utterly crushed. I groan in anguish of heart. My friends and companions avoid me because of my wounds. My neighbors stay far away. We reflect on the dignity of the human person. All humanity has been made in the image of God. Through our actions, we must express that each person is precious and that the lives and welfare of all people are priorities. When we support inclusive education, for people with disabilities to reach their potentials, we recognize that human dignity is given by God. The gift of the Spirit to each one is to be used for the common good. Enrich us with your Spirit, O Lord, that we may enhance life for all your creation. <clears throat> 
Eighth station, Jesus meets the woman of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Many people followed him, including women who mourned for him. Jesus said to them, do not weep for me. Weep for yourselves and for your children. For the time will come when you will say, Blessed are the children, the childless woman. We reflect on the, on the option for the poor. As a community of faith, we have the responsibility to reach out to the marginalized in our midst. The gospel's specific calling calls us to take actions on behalf of vulnerable communities when we help or contribute to educate parents about good nutrition and immunizations for themselves and their children, we show our preferential options for the poor. The gift of the spirit to each one is to be used for the common good. Enrich us with your spirit, O Lord, that we may enhance life for all your creation. station, Jesus falls at the time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. For we do not have the high priest who is unable to feel sympathy for our weaknesses, but we have one who has been tempted in every way, just as we are, yet he did not sin. Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. We reflect on the dignity of work and rights of workers. The ability to work to earn a living is right of all people. All workers have the right 
to a fair wage to organize themselves and to work in good conditions. When we commit to serve the very poor, especially women and vulnerable communities, we give dignity to their work and value their rights. The gift of the spirit to each one is to be used for the common good. Enrich us with your spirit, O Lord, that we may enhance life to all your creation. Jesus, keep me near the cross. Bear a precious fountain free to all the healing stream flows from Calvary's mind. The tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. When the soldiers crucified Jesus, they took his clothes, dividing them into four shares with the undergarment remaining. This garment was, was woven in one piece. Let us not tear it. Let us decide by Lord who will get it. This happened to fulfill scripture. They divided my clothes among them and cast lots for my garments. We reflect on community and participation. Human beings are not only sacred, but social. How we participate in our family and communities, from our daily actions to our policy decisions, affects every person. When we provide food assistance and help the unemployed find jobs, we enable them to participate and to be integrated with the community. The gift of the spirit to each one is to be used for the common good. Enrich us with your, good, your spirit, O Lord, that we may enhance life for all your creation. Eleven station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. 
when they came to the place called the skull, they crucified him there. Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. The people stood watching, and the rulers even uh, sneer at him. They said, He saved others, let him save himself, if he is God's Messiah, the one, uh, the chosen one. <coughs> we reflect on care for God's creation. We are called to be good stewards of the resources that have been entrusted to us. By safeguarding, guarding the environment, we respect the goodness of nature as a God-given gift. When we support sustainable farming techniques and their products, we are caring for God's creation. The gift of the Spirit to each one is to be used for the common good. Enrich us with your Spirit, O Lord, that we may enhance life for all your creation. Twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Knowing that everything had now been finished, and so that scripture would be fulfilled, Jesus said, I am thirsty. A jar of wine vinegar was there, so they soaked a sponge in it and lifted it to Jesus' lips. When he had, when he had, when he had received the drink, Jesus said, It is finished. With that, he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. We reflect on community and participation. As sacred and social beings, people must be of service to each other. When we feed the hungry, give drink to the thirsty, offer shelter to the strangers, and comfort those who are ill, we enable them to participate and contribute to the community. The gift of the Spirit to each one is to be used for the common good. And reach us with your Spirit, O Lord, that we may enhance life for all your creation. We stand for God. 
Jesus our Master has died to save with love and soul. His Lord divine and true and changing in this our land that place my soul. Strength and I feed with thee. The thin station, Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Later, Joseph of Arimathea asked Pilate for the body of Jesus. Now, Joseph was a disciple of Jesus, but secretly, but secretly, because he feared the Jewish leaders. With Pilate's permission, he came and took the body away. We reflect on the dignity of the human person. We are all made in God's image of love when we are enable people with disabilities to get a good education and meaningful jobs and to achieve their greatest potential. We uphold the God-given dignity of the person. <clears throat> the gift of the spirit to each one is to be used for the common good enrich us with your spirit O Lord we may enhance life for all your creation across victorious across Fourteen station, Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Joseph brought some linen cloth, took down the body, wrapped it in the linen, and place it in the tomb, cutting out of rocks. Then he rolled the, a stone against the entrance of the tomb.
we reflect on rights and responsibilities. We have a Christian responsibility to protect and ensure the basic rights of all. When people are assured of their social, political, economic, and cultural rights, they have an opportunity to become responsible citizens and to contribute to society. Communities flourish when rights and responsibilities go together. The gift of the Spirit to each one is to be used for the common good. Enrich us with your Spirit, O Lord, that we may enhance life for all your creation. Turning back, turning back, turning back. now let us pray for the intention of our work and our father hail mary and glory be uh, all together our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, yeah, as it was in the beginning, is now, ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us pray, everyone. God of love, you teach us through these Lenten reflections that each one of us is created in your image of love and compassion. You also teach us to reach out to each other. 
as you have reached out to us. God of all, uh, renew us and give us the courage to live simply. I do think so. To it's live a... in solidarity with people in poverty and to live sustainability with creation. May this season of land enable us to be good news to those in need and to become co-builders of your kingdom in our community. You too. Uh, Thank you everyone for coming and joining us in this uh, this time of uh, land. No, no, we are already the third then. day. We are already in the third day of 40 days. And I hope and pray that all of you are keeping you keeping well. Uh, always remember, we, uh, I will, uh, Father Ferdi and myself continue to pray for all of you. Uh, do the simplicity of love, simplicity of goodness, uh, and bring this goodness, good, good joy towards one another. Many of us are longing for many things, as we long, many others long too. So I hope that you can breathe the courage and strength to one another and to support each other. Archbishop Julian always said, especially uh, during his Ash Wednesday message to all of us, to let the land become a different, let the land become different. And we know it is a very different land. We are not here in church as community or maybe to walk together in the Station of the Cross, but we can bring this hope of life to many through this, uh, this online platform. Um, let's reach out to people who are not with us today especially to say we love you, we care for you, and we want to bring healing to all of you. Um, we will do this again next week, uh, and I hope that all of us can encourage others to come and join us. Sometimes it's not easy to just be together like this, but at least uh, we can become hope to one another. We can become hope to one another. I'm encouraging, uh, the Mandarin speaking is also doing it. The Bahasa speaking is not yet. Uh, Tamil speaking, I hope they will also try to do it in Tamil. So at least we are connecting to many. Uh, uh, do not forget uh, this coming Sunday, we will have uh, the Bahasa Mass. Yeah, we will have the Bahasa Mass from here itself, uh, uh, from Good Shepherd. Uh, Bahasa Mass at 12 noon. And at 3 p.m., Archbishop Julian will be here to bring the message of hope towards our catechumens for the right of election, the right of election. Every year, we just for you all to know, every year we get about 700 to 800 of them coming into the faith. But this time we only have a small number because of the, the platform, uh, online platform, maybe, maybe no personal contact with each other. We only have about 200, 200. So uh, we need to encourage, we need to reach out, reach out with smiles of hope, smiles of goodness to many, to many. Okay, uh, to all of you, uh, God loves you. And I wish you uh, a blessed uh, week ahead, coming week ahead. And remember, you have the smile, you have your hands, you have your ears, you have your feet. I know we cannot meet, go out to meet many because of the distancing but we can smile. Remember, when you say hello and I love you, we shun away the evil. Remember, when we do the good, we shun away the evil. When we do the, the blessings to one another, in the midst of that struggle, huh, I always say the midst of the human struggle will come, but we still can become that hope and good words of positiveness. He brings life, brings beautiful life, brings healing. To all of you, love you. Father Ferdi and myself wishes you blessings. So I wish all of, I, I bless all of you. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, Holy Amen. Spirit. Amen. Love you all. Keep smiling. Rosalind and Sean, can I just see you for, as we others can.